Hi friends, welcome to Moody Blooms. I'm Mary Ellen and today we're going to propagate one of my favorites, String of Pearls. Now these beauties are pretty easy to care for once you learn a few tips. Uh, of course I have heard some horror stories of people killing their String of Pearls, but really the main killer is overwatering. I have um, another video on how to care for those String of Pearls and how not to kill the String of Pearls in uh, another video if, you, if you'd like to check that out. But First, we're gonna start with this healthy string of pearls. Now this one actually tipped over in a wind, uh, windy night the other day and it dumped out, the pot cracked, and so kind of put it back together, but it is, I am gonna get some cuttings um, and show you how to do that. So the, what I'd like to do is find one that has some kind of an, a natural gap. Like see how this one is, has some nice chunky pearls and then there's, um, like these baby ones all kind of thick and grouping right here. So I'll try to find like a natural gap. So these are close together and then there's a little gap here and I'll take a cut there. And then you could propagate this whole thing, but I'd probably cut it in smaller pieces. I like about this size right here. This is one of my current pots that's propagating and see those nice healthy roots. This can go into some soil, it's definitely ready. And let me show you, after I take them out of there, then they end up in here. And as soon as they get some roots on them, I pot them up into some soil. These are all from cuttings, so love those. Um, I also love to use like old antique milk jars. And then I also love, of course, the um, antique milk glass jars. And so uh, these are a little longer than I normally propagate, but um, these roots are healthy and ready to go as well so i'll propagate or pot rather those on up but let me show you a couple more cuttings that i take and then oh before that i'm so excited um my newest addition variegated string of pearls how beautiful is that so of course the first thing i did was take a bunch of cuttings because you know wouldn't want anything to happen to it so put some up in some soil and then I also have some propagating in water. I think that's a blue jay, quite loud. Love the birds. But this one I think is actually a mixture of string of pearls and string of tears because you can see here these are definitely tears and these are definitely pearls. You can tell the difference of the, the tips on here are kind of like a lemon shape. So Man, that bird must know we're recording. <laughs> so I'll probably take, like this one's kind of got a lot going on here, which I love, but for to take cuttings, I'll find like the gap kind of right here. Cause I hate to lose any pearls if I don't have to. And this could just go right into the soil. Just kind of wrap it around and coil it up. Um, I do love propagating them in water though. It's definitely one of my favorites um, and then I also have some string of tears now these have been in here way too long and this is what happens when you don't change the water out you forget about them they get all this gross algae on there I have not been a good plant mom with this one for sure this definitely needs to be cleaned out get some fresh water and um, taken better care of for sure but and then you'll see also on here on this they'll have some has some air roots already growing kind of on there so I'll probably cut just below this bottom one here and then I can either leave this one just like this or um, I would typically make this two cuttings um, probably make another one right about just after the root after that one string of tears right there and then probably just remove this. And then I'd stick both of those in some water.
yeah, they're super easy to propagate and I swear once you get the hang of them, they just, they thrive and, and do really well. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and we hope to see you next time on Moody Blooms.